Hello, this is Kathleen McKee of Olean's.com, Machine Embroidery Art. In Lesson 36, I'm going to show you how to digitize for an embossed towel. I thought it was about time I updated this tutorial on embossing towels as the technique I showed you earlier is an older technique that I've been using for years with the previous versions of PE Design. My viewers uh, reminded me that there's a much faster and easier way of doing it. So we're going to start out by going to our Home tab and under the Design Settings we need to choose a larger hoop because this 4x4 hoop is just not going to be big enough to give the effect we want on a towel. So we're going to choose the 180 by 130 millimeter size frame or the 5 by 7 frame. And the next thing we want to do is uh, set some sort of background. You can use any of the uh, region tools and I'm going to use the plain circle tool and I'm going to maximize this hoop with it. Uh, with my finger on the control key, I'm going to press the letter M for middle. That will center it. It looks like it might be going a little bit outside of the hoop, so I'm going to just bring it in a bit, a little bit more and press control and M for middle. We need a fill inside this oval, something to hold down the nape of the towel. So we're going to turn on our region sew, and we are going to choose the cross stitch. Now when you choose the cross stitch under sewing attributes, the default region sew size is 2.5. We want it a little bit smaller than that. We want it 2 millimeters. Since our towel is going to be uh, white, we want the color of our background to be the same color as the towel. So we're going to go over to color and we're going to change the line color to white. Then we're going to go to the region area and change the region white. That makes our stitches a little difficult to see. So we're going to go back to the home tab under the design settings and we are going to go to the page color and let's make it some sort of color. We'll just make it gray say OK. Now we can see our stitches in the background more clearly. When choosing a text for your monogrammed embossed towels, you want to choose a really uh, a large and rounded type text, uh, ideally. And I've already pre-selected one that uh, I think it's called, it's a true type ta font and it's called Bologna. Or Bologna? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Anyway, that's the one we're going to use because it's nice and roundy. And I'm using the letter A because I wanted a, a letter that had a hole in the middle. We want it really big so we can see the fluff of the towel shown behind it. The next thing I want to do, and, and when you do the text, it brings up your text attribute tab. We want to convert it to an outline. And that gets rid of those extra handles up there, which makes it easier for you to press Control and M for middle and center that uh, text easier. As you can see, we have the little blue dotted outline, which means that this is a grouped object. So we want to, under the Edit tab, we want to ungroup it. The next step is to select your text and with your finger on the control key so you can select the background as well. Now we have both objects selected. When you do that, that will bring up under the edit tab uh, your option to remove overlaps, merge, or hole sewing. We're going to select hole sewing and set the hole sewing. We can see that it was successful under the sewing order because now we have the uh, blank that area uh, on the background. We don't need this A anymore, so we are going to turn the stitches off of that. Notice that there is no cross stitch fill here, and that's easy to correct. Since it's sometimes hard to select 
if you press this, it's sometimes hard. It might be easier to select your object in the sewing order by left clicking it, then right clicking it, and say select object. That sometimes makes it easier to grab these parts. And we are going to turn on the fill of that. And we don't want a satin, so we also want a cross stitch on that. So, And we want it to be the same color as the towel, so we need to change that color to white. To make this monogram a little bolder, I also want to put an outline around the middle of the A and the outside. So let's go to uh, our line sew, and the default is a running stitch, but I want that to be a more narrow zigzag, and I want it to be white. Whoops, we gotta do the line sew. And I want it to be a little more narrow than the default of two, so we're gonna take that down, that's good. And then the next we're going to choose the uh, larger A, and we're going to turn on the line sew of that. And I want to also make that a zigzag, a little bit more narrow, whoops, not that narrow. And we need to change that color to white. So now when you sew this out, the cross stitch is going to hold down the nape of your towel and all the fluffy stuff is going to show in the background. This is a much easier technique and for those of you who suffered through my earlier video, I apologize. It's just the way I had been doing it for so many years. I think you're going to find this uh, technique to be much more user friendly.